All right, the Utah Grizzlies are in the Western Conference Finals for the first time since 2008. You know what? They're in West Valley City tonight at the Maverick Center. <laughs> and if you go to the game, this one right here, Amy Nay will be singing the national yeah. anthem. So enjoy that. They asked. Pretty darn good, oh, too. Oh, that's nice of you, Brian. They asked me, hey, if we make it this far, will you sing? And I said, yeah. Not knowing whether or not it would happen. This is a big game, too, and so give go. it everything you got. It. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Always an honor to see our, our national anthem. Game five is tonight at the Maverick Center. And with two hometown players on the roster, Fox 13's Andrea Irvin shares how they wear it so proudly. I can't even put it into words. It's honestly like I'm living a dream. It's pretty cool. Mason Manick's hockey career stems from three generations right here in Utah. For me, it was actually it was a family thing. Um, I grew up at the rink. Uh, I was skating by the time I was two years old. My great grandfather played and he passed it down to my grandpa, to uh, my dad and my uncle, and then to me and my cousin. And it's something that we've done as a family. Being a manic and a grizzly is something that Mason is proud of. The bond we have is so special and the reputation that we've built here. I'm not representing only the team, but also the name on my back because I think that means something to me. I think it's extra special for me just because I grew up wearing that logo when I was just little. <laughs> you know, when I was two years old until I was 13 years old, I wore that logo. So now to have a, you know, have that crest back in my chest is super special. Mason played all 72 games for us this year, and he, he was an absolute rock star. You know, they get to play in front of their friends and family every night. Obviously, Garrett's been injured this year. He was awesome when we had him. Garrett Metcalf, although dealing with a shoulder injury, he grew up playing in his driveway in Salt Lake City. If we want to dive into why I became a goalie, I was the younger brother and didn't really have a choice. So when we would play street hockey outside, he would just kind of tape pillows to my legs, my body, give me a baseball glove, put on a player helmet, and tell me to stand in front the net um, and then finally I think I was around eight my dad finally bought me some goalie gear and after that there was no turning back and now Mason and Garrett can represent for Utah I think for me and Mason both to be able to show kids in Utah that like it is possible and not only at the ECHL level but to be able to move forward I think that it's so big Utah is not really a hockey hotbed so for me and Mason to be from Salt Lake City to have local people come to our games um, when it's announced when he scores or however it is. And to be able to see that, I think it's just helping grow the game in Utah. With the Grizzlies, Andrea Urban, Fox 13 News, Utah.